Luke, for Please. Luke to speak up. <laughs> it's this shout. Okay. So I didn't quite understand uh, what the difference between a net split is and uh, a node being unavailable. So if you remaster something up because a node is unreachable, potentially it's a net split. And it would seem that when they rejoin, you've got two masters and one of them's going to have to shut down, but you've got inconsistency there. Okay. Uh, if you want. <laughs> <coughs> if, if you plan to resist to net splits, what happens if the wall cluster is split in half? Yeah. Uh, it's not possible, because the, the only re uh, way to do this is that the, a given key should be recreated in a partition, and when there is a, again the join, there is the resolution. Instead, when you handle redundancy via slaves, the slaves will never get rights. It's just a stream of updates from master to slave. So this is guaranteed to be always consistent. You can set up the cluster in two ways. If you need read after write consistency type, the slaves are just id. If you instead, uh, for, for you it's not so important, actually clients can also use uh, can also use slaves for all the read queries. Yeah, so I understood. Um, so maybe I'm not expressing my question in the right way. No, um, it's more, more easily, I didn't understand. <laughs> <that, but laughs> um, so, <coughs> so uh, say that you lose contact with a master. So it's, is it marked as failing? I see in those master failing. Let's just say, for convenience, that a master is on the other side of the next split. Yes. Then for the nodes on, say, on the left-hand side, they can't contact that master, so they go. There's a master missing for a slot. Yeah. One of the slaves is going to have to be promoted to a master, and then you have one master on the left and one master on the right. But the net split might resolve automatically. <coughs> yeah. What happens is that we, uh, once the, uh, if the this master was marked as failed, and this always happens before a slave promotion. When the slave will be up, all the other nodes will try to conduct it as fast as possible and send a shutdown message. So when the master will go out, out spontaneously, if the net split will resolve, uh, if, if we'll go down and we'll resolve the net split in a few seconds, nothing will happen. But when the two hearts both tell both masters to shut down, is there an uh, yeah, yeah. okay? Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> we have this partition and this. This is a master. This was a slave, and this now instead a master. Yeah. Okay, but this one is marked as failing. All these nodes are trying to ping it. If the net split will resolve. These nodes will try to send the shutdown message as fast as possible, and this node will shut down. Not just this, but this node alone will detect that is, uh, all the other nodes seems failing. So it will shut down itself most of the time. Because when a node starts to see that there is a, a node that is in timeout, the first thing it does in the every second scan is Okay, maybe I am down. <laughs> if <it> this <laughs> condition is detected, it will uh, uh, set an error state and will not uh, join again the party. <coughs> okay, so in the case where it's not just one node that's split, but there's, uh, you partition the network, is a majority opinion? As to no, it, the, the cluster will fail. The entire cluster will fail if yeah. the nodes go down. It's more than two, no? If you have n replicas per master, right. N nodes can file. Once n plus one node files, if it's are the wrong uh, kind of nodes, the cluster, uh, every other uh, node will understand that there is uh, at least a hash slot that's not served, and all the network will start re re returning errors. The cluster is not working. Error, error, error. This is the price you pay for consistent solution. But so, so you just had a single slave mode on the right-hand side, 
and it says oh, all those other masters have done. I better send them a shutdown message as soon as I come back again. Are they going to shut down or? <coughs> okay. Well, the the first uh, safety guard is that the master should uh, shut down itself mm -hmm. because from the his point of view everything is filing. If it will in some way still uh, come back, uh, the all this already know that something is wrong and if there is a dummy client asking we will never redirect it. Okay, but stick one more slave on the right. What will it do when it comes back? Thanks. So basically if you have that and let's say they split across basically here. So this thing still thinks according to these ones that that's the master. These ones kind of go, I can't access that one. So this one goes, hey I'm the new master. So basically we've got two things, two nodes here, which are both thinking they're the master, and as soon as the network rejoins, then you've got these nodes and this one This, this can shut never down. happen, because uh, uh, since you have this constraint, one side will, uh, will feel it's completely firing. At least one side, okay. I have so, so the, the I have so five nodes. Nodes. It's never split 50-50. Exactly, so, so it's impossible. So that's the significance of the N plus one. If we are, it's here, okay. It will be okay, and this is failing. Okay, if it is here, both sides will go down because it's not. Uh, it's not so, so in this particular flight cluster, which one's the master? So okay, sorry. Let, let's to make things simple. Okay, so master, master, master. Slave, it's, it's not simple. Slave, slave. Slave. Okay, yeah. in the okay. Uh, this case, that already no working part. Not this, not this, because you have just one slave. So just one host can go down, one node can go down, okay? Uh, so let's do a more complex <coughs> example. Where we have, okay, with n q, we have master, 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 slave, slave, <coughs> okay, if there is a, this kind of partition, everything will work. If there is this kind of partition, not this, not this. So there is no election, because both sides will be failing. <coughs> so if there's a partition where these nodes are, then at this point, none of them are going to send any requests these guys at all. Uh, okay, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, also, yeah. Everything is failing. Yeah, because this this part can continue. Because these two ashes slots are not okay. set. Okay. It's more simple. Maybe it sounds quite stupid here. I've got a client here who has done the who's done the you know intelligent cluster hint. Yeah. So now has the cluster hint thing and he's on this side of network partition. Yeah. So this client goes in and can still talk to these masters, yeah, this master here. Yeah. So the client still keeps talking. It keeps will play, play with an error. This will play with an error. Yeah. So Why so would so this master return us an error at this point? Because, uh, uh, because the master, assuming the cluster yeah. the partition is here, the master can still talk to this particular slave. Yeah, yeah but so he is connected with every other node. Every no other node. So as long as this happens, yeah. it will yeah. start to see yeah. the timeouts and it will fail. So what's the condition which means that a node, master node, so is it when, because before I understood, I don't know if you guys understood the same way, is when the master can't talk to its slave. No, 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 if the master can talk with any other node, and, okay, in this case, the master can talk with this and with this. Most likely, the connections will go down just when there is the net speed. Read error. So it will mark it as broken in uh, one millisecond. So, so if there is a, sti a, a very bad partition in which you get uh, no response, no wrong routing errors, there are a few seconds in which this is this will accept these queries and then will go down. Guys, the pizza will be arriving soon. I'm sure most of you still have questions. 
So <coughs> how about you guys can spy us out in a bit okay. of, like, over some pizza? But still, I think <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Questions. I think it's, it's, it's interesting that even when this happens, <laughs> this will get a few queries before it the lines, it's down. It's okay because it is the, the only master still, because the other side of the cluster is failing, so there is no promotion here. Okay? So after the cluster will fail, after the rejoin, there will be a pretty full consistency. This will not get lost, the things the client brought. Okay? Next question. Okay. At the back, on the right. Uh, so, um, <coughs> if my manager knew that I was using Redis, I'm sure it'd be a lot of trouble. Because at the moment, I'm using Redis secretly uh, because it does because there is no uh, failover. So, my very basic question is. When, can I, when are we going to get this fantastic system that you And can I tell my manager what I'm using? <coughs> okay. I, I will give you uh, I will give you um, some information about the current state and some uh, information about when this is likely to be available and in different stages this will be a long project but uh, the migrate command is already fully working nodes already connected will ping pong each other there is still no the uh, proxying stuff, menu ask, uh, ask, migrate, but this is trivial. Only open problem we have now is that we need to uh, re-lay out our data structures <coughs> so that's very simple, fast for a node. If I ask, give me a random key, but about hash slot seven, this should be a fast operation. I can do random sampling because I may have millions of keys and they have just one key in the hash slot seven. So what was a database that was a big hash table is starting to be n hash tables, one per hash slot, but are trivial modification. So in few months, we should have something you can play with. In a few weeks, you should have a Redis uh, uh, branch, a cluster branch that supports migrate. That is already useful. Just alone, the migrate com atomic command to create your hacks to live better with uh, Redis. And I think in four months, we should have the first uh, uh, beta version. And then it will start to, uh, even when this will work, co completely work, there are still uh, a lot of missing parts. For instance, how do you get a snapshot, snapshot of the whole cluster? Because every node will save the data set in a different uh, place. But I guess you want to have a consistent dump. So we will need to figure out tools to retrieve all this stuff. Thank you. The back, in the middle. How, did, um, how does the clustering thing impact using Redis as a messaging server? <coughs> uh, so, that's an interesting question. The, the fact is that uh, if you use uh, the, mm, the messaging like in Rescue, uh, then it's going to work very well. Because you have different lists with Push and Bob, and this will work well. Instead, with PubSub, we are already pretty clustered because subscribes are sent uh, to slaves. So you can already with Redis 2.0 or better with 2.2 create a PubSub server uh, with many slaves. You uh, publish against the master. The master will send the published messages to all the slaves and you will pick a random uh, slave for every client to connect with. Because in PubSub, the subscribe is very cheap. What is very costly is to having attached clients. So I think the best solution for PubSub is using a current Redis replication. So it will, it will basically, you, if you are trying to subscribe to a server, it will tell you which server you should be subscribing to to receive the public, the publish Okay, the, the complexity of PubSub is proportional to the number of clients.